Today I'm roasting some carrots. This is a technique you can use on any vegetable. It's particularly good with carrots because it kind of brings out the sweetness, but uh, it brings out the flavor really well in any vegetable. I've got about six, six tablespoons of butter here that I'm going to melt in a cast iron skillet. And then about one and a half to two pounds of carrots that I've already uh, peeled and sliced and put in bags there. And then I'm preheating my oven to about 400 degrees. And some people say that you should eat your vegetables raw because of the enzymes. And while that's true that raw vegetables are good for you, I also think that cooked vegetables, it starts to break down those enzymes, but it also breaks down some of those nutrients so that they're easier for your body to get at them and really absorb them well. So I think it's good to get a mix of cooked and raw vegetables. And especially if you don't like raw vegetables that much, don't feel like you're missing out on the nutrients just because you're cooking them. Roasting the vegetables really, um, it caramelizes the sugars so that you really get a lot of good flavor and especially the butter helps a lot with the flavor. Once your butter is pretty much melted, go ahead and put in your carrots. And then I'll be stirring that up so that the butter is really evenly distributed and that helps the carrots brown more evenly if they all have a good amount of butter on the outside. And the browning is really a sign of the intense flavor from the roasting. So you really want to give them plenty of time to brown. Carrots especially, I usually have to plan on about 45 minutes in my oven. Something like green beans will go a lot faster, maybe five or ten minutes. But carrots are really good, so it's worth it. And then once the butter's pretty well distributed, this is pink Himalayan sea salt, lots of good minerals. And I don't measure my salt for things like this. I think it's probably half to three quarters of a teaspoon that I'm using here. I might be using up to a full teaspoon because I like things a little extra salty. And then I'm just going to put those in the oven. And I'm going to leave the cover off for now. So it has more of a chance to brown if I feel like it's drying out too fast when I check it, then I'll put a cover on it later. The carrots have been cooking for 30 or 35 minutes, and we're going to take a look and see how they're doing. Now they are starting to soften. You can see shriveling just a little bit around the edges. This one here is just starting to brown, but most of them are not really browning yet. So they're getting close to the point where they're soft enough to eat, but you really want to keep them in there till they're starting to develop that nice rich brown color. All right, moving aside my supper here so that we can check the carrots again. This is about at 45 minutes, and they're actually still just starting to get that really brown look. I may actually have to pull these out early so that I can serve them with supper. Um, but so you can see, what you're really looking for is that look to your carrot. Just some nice browning, not burnt, and then ideally once it browns like that on one side you want to stir them up and put it back in so they cook for about another 10 minutes or so so they get that really good browning on all sides. And roast carrots, even when they're not completely browned, definitely have my husband's stamp of approval. If I serve him salad he will eat it and he may or may not enjoy it depending on his mood, but if he finds out we're having roast carrots, that gets a yum, and he's happy about it. So, 
roast carrots are a win.